So now I'm going to play cl uh, clips from from the PC. These are on YouTube, but the the interface on YouTube wasn't wasn't designed for radio studios to play it easily without adverts cropping up and all sorts of terrible things going on. Um, but I'll come I'll come back to that later on. The two clips I'm going to play. The fir the first one's by D Donald Clark from the Ahead by Bet uh, talk in space. Um, that's the higher education universities aspect to Bet. Bet is is has always been a, a schools show. It's still mostly a schools show, but there's always been university people checking it out. I would say because it's the only. Um, Technology show that the major companies, Microsoft, Google, Apple, Adobe, they don't always turn up, but they they they, they often do, and you can get an idea what's what's happening with technology in general. And ahead by bet's been getting stronger over the three three or four years, I think, and AI has, has boosted it. So there's that that complete talk. Don, Donald Clark, AI changes everything. Um, is on is on YouTube complete, but I've also put little clips because the sound quality is not not fantastic. I'm, not, I'm it's about half an hour. I'm not sure if a lot of people will stay with it for half an hour. So there's several four or five minute bits and pieces, which more or less make sense. And then I've taken this out of it, and I'll explain why afterwards. This is about some. Um, Writing essays as a way of finding out what how the students are getting on is is really what, where it starts from, but it moves on to skills. What what employers are looking for, because um, to Donald Clark he, he 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 mostly talks about learning theory in this sort of context, but he's he has worked in. Uh, Ed tech companies as as well, so he's got he's got a few different ways of looking at things. Anyway, let's uh, let's play this this first clip. You're in trouble here, but that's because assessment is hopeless, and you're not assessing anything by just shunting out one line essay type stuff. You're just not assessing at all. I've run big companies, had hundreds of graduates. I hardly ever get them to write anything because they ain't going to be writing essays when we come and work for them. And I think what we've done is higher education, really, and starting with the printing press, is so text soaked. It's so reliant on text, it misses everything else. You can assess hardly anything in the real world using text, but that's the only assessment methods most people use. It's just totally and utterly bizarre. So if you, did, if you didn't hear that, he's, he's essentially saying that text is not a way of testing anything and um, it's, not, it's not the kind of skill he's looking for anyway for, from a job point of view in the EdTech ed tech world. Um, right at the other end of the show was the, the speaker lounge where Bet Radio was. R Russell Prue uh, was doing an afternoon show live between two and four, I think it was. Um, on, on each of the three days and pre-recording in the mornings and so we were able to do a, a, a live phone call to the Wild Show Thursday morning about about 11 o'clock so that's that's part of the Wild Show which is on Mixcloud and we'll we'll talk about that tomorrow between 10 and 12 um, JD was we, we left JD behind, but Chris Norton and myself were were, were at bet. And this is this is from the 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 start of that when JD phoned Russell Prue or Russell Prue I think Russell Prue, no Russell Prue phoned phoned the, the Phonic Studio number. That's how, that's how it started. But we we set it up other ways. But anyway, um, they had quite a long conversation before before they brought Chris and myself into it um, and this bit they're just talking about radio and Russell explains why he thinks radio is important in schools 
all about the conversation. The show is about shaping the conversation for classroom uh, practice. I'm here, of course, talking about school radio and how that impacts on speech and language in the classroom and how children can get their heads around talking and confidence with language. Uh, and that works really, really well for me. So I, I do believe that you, you should really practice what you preach. And if I'm here saying, hey, guys, get into radio, it really <laughs> is good. No one cares what you look like. Uh, and in this our classrooms, the, yeah, it's, it, that's good, Jamie. This is, yeah, this is what I've missed at being at school, you know, you know, having this opportunity to do something like radio mm. or television or whatever. Mm. That wasn't in our curriculum nope. at all. No, nope. and it still isn't. It still isn't, JD. This is, um, I have, I'm, no. I'm starting this year with 388 schools with one of my radio stations. There's, uh, Gosh, that's there's a lot. tens of thousands, well, it's not, not nearly enough, but it's a start in, in, in the grand scheme yeah. of things. And, and, and radio is still very, very now because yeah. uh, you don't need parental consent to put a child's no. voice on air. You do no. if it's their no. image. And so that means you can't include everyone in the class if you've got children, you've got absent parents, for example, you've got children with protection orders in an average class. And so you, yeah. can't, you can't identify that child. That means they can't participate in a video activity, but they can no. in radio. Well, the skill comes from them actually learning and doing it themselves. Absolutely. Not just about yeah, playing music, no, it's, it's not, not about, no, not at all, it's about conversation. So I think those, those two clips fit, to, fit together, um, but whether higher education is going to do a, lo do a lot more on radio, I don't, I don't know how that's, how that's going to work, but we'll come back to it. I'm sorry about the sound quality, the, there's a lot of background noise, but that's what happens when you do things at a, at on, a, on a show floor. Uh, I think we'll just come back to those topics in, in studios or some context where we, we can record the sound a bit better, but I think it's, I think it's a good, good starting point. Uh, going to go back to to music now. Um, this is the We Don't Know show, and if 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 John turns up, you'll probably play uh, Culture Club. But this is going to be Boy George. <laughs> 